The Center for Asian Studies is one of the research centers of Vitotis Magnus University, constructed on the basis of multidisciplinary regional knowledge. Therefore, the center's primary object is Asia, mainly from the perspective of humanities and social sciences, with emphasis on the modern trends of Asian politics, economy, the society, and culture. Presently, we are concentrating on the East Asian region, Japan, both Koreas, People's Republic of China, and Taiwan, but there are plans to expand our interests to the Southwest, Central, South, and Southeast Asian regions in the future. This is the place where Lithuania meets distantly remote countries and cultures. I am happy to see more and more students that are interested in East Asian languages and cultures. Seeing their enthusiasm makes me motivated to look for new, more efficient teaching methods. It's been a pleasure to be a graduate of East Asian Studies. I was accepted by Pilatus Magnus. It was the best option because we, you have Hashi Club in here and Sugihara House, which is related to Japan very much. Me personally, I'm studying a sociology, and I saw that there are lots of uh, classes about the sociology in Vitos Magnus University, and then. I heard that from the former student who already been to the Vitos University. That university has kind of a good program for the asthma student, exchange student, and then the person student are really favorable to the exchange student. So I chose it. Although the official establishment date of the Center for Asian Studies is the year 2001, some of the center's employees still remember a small lecture room in the VMU building on Lysbis Avenue, where all the lovers of Japanese language and culture used to gather every evening to study Japanese language with Professor Alashauskas. You know, when you start dealing Asian studies in Lithuania or Eastern Europe, you simply have a big problem that there is no basis for this. There are no human resources, library funds. There is no tradition and history. Finally, there is no demand or public interest for this. And you simply recognize that you have to start everything from absolute zero. When the Sugihara Memorial Museum was opened in 2001 in the historical building of the former Japanese consulate, in that same building, VMU established the Center for Japanese Studies. The center's activities at that time were mainly teaching Japanese language and students' club activities. The head of the Center for Japanese Studies was Professor Arvidas Alashauskas, who was later awarded an honorable prize by the government of Japan for his achievements in spreading Japanese culture in Lithuania. Therefore, I really appreciate my predecessor, Mr. Arvidas Alashauskas, who established the center in the 90s after Lithuania gained independence and who actually managed to educate absolutely new generation of Japanese study specialists in Lithuania. 2008, Dr. Aurelius Zikis replaced Professor Alashauskas to become the new head of the center. In this period, the center started to cultivate academic research more actively by organizing its first international academic conference and issuing its first academic publication, sponsored by the Toshiba International Foundation. In 2009, the Center for Japanese Studies changed its name to the Center for Asian Studies and became a part of the Institute of Political Science and Diplomacy. The following year, the center launched its website, where you can find information about East Asian studies, events, student club activities, and more. In general, the activities of the Center for Asian Studies can be divided into four fields. Academic research, studies, educational activities, and student club activities. The main activity of the Center is academic research, which made its first steps in 2004 and has developed rapidly since 2007. From the very beginning, uh, scholars of the center have conducted a thorough research on Japanese and Korean popular culture. 
In the recent years, the research area of the center expanded significantly, which reflects the university's general growth of the network of international relations. The number of students interested in East Asian languages and cultures was rapidly increasing. Thus, in 2007, the Center for Japanese Studies, together with the Department of Regional Studies, launched the MA program in East Asian Studies. Next to Japanese language, Chinese and Korean languages started being taught. At the time, I think the program seemed attractive enough for us because uh, it was not only cultural studies, it was also integrated political, political economical relations, also it was uh, religious side included and one of the aspects I liked about it because in the master studies we had an opportunity to learn the language. Of course two years you might say it's not really enough for that, for that but all of us had an opportunity to go abroad and not for half a year but a year studies. Let's say 80% of 11 students went abroad either China, Korea or Japan. All Lithuanian lectures of East Asian languages have studied in East Asian universities, and the more advanced levels are taught by native speakers, lecturers, from Japan, Korea, and China. In 2012, a major event was launching a new BA study program in East Asian languages and cultures in cooperation with the Department of Culture Studies and Ethnology. The program started with huge success, and each year attracts more and more students willing to gain deeper knowledge about the region of East Asia. This year, the program has been among the most popular BA programs in VMU. We strongly believe that in order to become qualified specialists of East Asian countries, students should have a possibility to spend some time in East Asia, to experience the culture, to learn the subtleties of language by being in the surroundings of its original usage. For this reason, the Center collaborates actively with the VMU International Office in searching for new partner institutions in East Asia the first bilateral agreement was signed in 1996 with Kansei Gaidei University in Japan. So we are delighted to see that our network of partners has been expanding over the years. Uh, we have a network of uh, partners in East Asia, of course, but also um, we are proud to have a new partner in Indonesia from uh, 2014. And uh, we are also working on uh, pooling our resources and uh, ideas together with our European partners. Now, we have 10 partner universities in Japan, 10 in South Korea, 3 in Taiwan, and 2 in the People's Republic of China. I really like this country. Yeah, yeah. me too. It's really beautiful. Oh. I found it very interesting to study in here that I can take several classes that I can't take in Japan. I take a class with the Lithuanians and then they really like to participate in the class and then I could run a lot of things about the Lithuania way of thinking and their own personality. That one is a really good experience for me. There are various educational activities including summer schools, concerts, art exhibitions, etc. The summer schools organized by the center attracted a large number of interested high school and university students while public lectures, musical, and art events are organized for a wide audience of Kona citizens. These events always attract numerous spectators and serve as a cultural bridge between East Asia and Lithuania. The center itself wouldn't exist without a group of enthusiastic students who gather into student clubs and actively organize or participate in various educational and cultural activities. Usually students are interested in one East Asian country more than the other, so culture clubs creates an additional value for the study program as it becomes a place to gather and explore uh, their favorite country popular culture and traditions. The longest history belongs to the student club Hashi for the lovers of Japan. It was established in 2000. Later, in 2010, the lovers of Korean culture established the club Hallyu, and the youngest club is Wu Wei, for the lovers of Chinese culture, established in 2013. The students gather in the Center for Asian Studies to watch movies, make presentations, 
organize festivals, share their experiences or interests, and are active helpers in organizing different events held by the Center for Asian Studies. Furthermore, the newly established MA program accelerated the process for the opening of Chune Sugihara Reading Room in the premises of the Center for Japanese Studies. This library and reading room hosts the largest collection of academic sources on contemporary East Asian politics, economics, and society in Lithuania, as well as the biggest collection of Korean study books in the Baltic states. Every year, the library's resources are expanded thanks to the donations of numerous individuals and the support from East Asian foundations. The library has already become uh, a popular place among our students because only here you can find uh, specific literature regarding studying uh, East Asian cultures and languages. For the rest of university, our reading room is uh, still to be discovered, but the trends are positive. More and more students are coming here. The center also coordinates or provides support for a number of Asia-related websites such as a website for studying Japanese language, Asian Studies in Lithuania, eAsia TV, and Glossary of East Asia. These websites couldn't have been launched without the enthusiasm of our present and former students, and the Center is therefore very proud of these young, active people who make efforts to spread knowledge about East Asian countries and their cultures. Please visit our Center. See you at CAS.